Why are people so depressed? I'm a psychiatrist and I'm supposed to have the answers. There's one possible explanation that I found very fascinating. It's connected to the reason why scenes like this make us feel wonderful. For perhaps millions of years, humans have relied on certain behaviors and locations for survival. Failing to engage in these behaviors would equate certain death. And so the theory is that our brain has built into it a survival smoke alarm, warning us that perhaps our current behavior patterns will lead to our demise. There are periods when times are dangerous, where we need to stay in a cave to be safe. But what would happen to these people if they had stayed in the cave and not gone out to hunt or to plant seeds or go to the water? The same anxiety that kept them alive would lead to their certain death. In this way, depression would function as an alarm telling us to change our set of behaviors, to go to places like this and find happiness. That there's something deep inside of us that needs to throw a spear and run through the forest and swim in the rivers. Something deep inside of us that needs to get our hands dirty, planting seeds and then watching them grow and feeling the joy when we pick our own vegetables and eat them. And that failing to do this will result in our death. And finding places like this will ensure our survival. This is where the animals go to find water. This is where the fish live. This is where we can drink. Being in an environment like this is a relatively new thing. And maybe our brains have not adapted to this yet. And when we're stuck in a cave like this, for too long, holding still, moving nothing but our thumbs, our brain starts sending us that signal, that smoke alarm, telling us that we are going to die unless we plant seeds and run through the forest and find the water in the trees. And don't fail to realize that our tribe, our society, our friends, our loved ones, our family, throughout all of human history, have been just as vital to our survival as food, air, water, and shelter. So perhaps we can replicate some of these behaviors and win back some of our happiness. This means we will need to find the courage to come out of our cave, find the water, get our tools, throw that spear, find our tribe, and unlock that happiness that's just inside of us waiting to be ignited. So do this and this, eat that, get plenty of this, and go here.